guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 7 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, find the area of each rectangular array. Label the side lengths of the matching area model and write a multiplication sentence for each area model. So again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding like what we're doing. So here we have rectangular arrays. This one matches with this one. So basically the two columns match. A, we have a rectangular array. Here, um, we have it labeled out. We have three units times two units because we're trying to find the area. An area is the length times the width. In this case, our length is three. One, two, three. And our length is two. One, two. So three units times two units. Three times two is six. So our area is six square units. All right, let's move on to B. Here we have, we can use this one to count how many units we have. We have one, two units on the sides. Um, and then um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five units of their width. And also, um, if this side is two units, then the opposite side over here would also be two units. If this is five units, then this side would also be five units. So let's find our area. Two units times five units equals two times five is ten square units. So the area of rectangle B is ten square units. All right, and C. Let's see, our side lengths, we have one, two, three. That's three units on the side. And here it's one, two, three, four. Four units. So to find our area, we multiply our length and our width. Three units times four units equals three times four is 12. So it's 12 square units. 12 square units. All right, and D. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four on the side, four units. And on the other side, we also have one, two, three, four. So this is actually a square. Four units times four units is 16 square units. So 16 is our area. All right, and now our next page, number two. Jillian arranges square pattern blocks into a 7 by 4 array. Draw Jillian's array on the grid below. How many square units are in Jillian's rectangular array? So 7 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4. We can bold that so we can see it better. So this is Jillian's array. It's a seven by four um, rectangle thing. So we want to find out how many square units are in the array. Basically, what's the area? Seven units times four units equals 28, which means the area is 28, so there are 28 square units in Julian's rectangular array. All right, and B. Label the side lengths of Jillian's array from part A on the rectangle below. Then write a multiplication sentence to represent the area of the rectangle. All right, so the side lengths, it's seven. It was seven units by four units. So we're moving that side length down here. So it's seven units and four units. And to find the area, that's length times width. So that's 7 times 4 equals 28. 
So 28 is our answer. All right, the area is 28 square units. Number three, Fiona draws a 24 square centimeter rectangle. Gregory draws a 24 square inch rectangle. Whose rectangle is larger in area? How do you know? All right, well, we know the units are the same. They have 24 and 24. So to find out what's bigger, now it comes to like centimeters and inches. So Fiona has 24 square centimeters, while Gregory has 24 square inches. We know an inch is bigger than a centimeter, which means if we have 24 inches compared to 24 centimeters, inches would win. So Greg, Gregory, rectangle would be bigger because 24 is the same unit for both. And because since and inches are bigger than centimeters, twenty four square inches would win. So, yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!